Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the CSR UGC net. Today we will discuss about the PY questions on the Markov chain from the year December 2011 to 2023. This is a part one of this Markov chain. The next part we will discuss about all those questions from the year June 2011 to June 2023. Myself Dr. Gar, you can simply follow my YouTube channel Dr. Harish Garks or else you can simply join WhatsApp group by using scan and join this here. What you will be found on my YouTube channel, you can see there is a playlist CSIR UGC net where you can find the previous year statistics solutions, real analysis solutions, PY questions on the complete partial differential equation from the 11 to 23, PY questions on the differential equations, PY questions on the integral equations, calculus of variations as well as PY questions on the Eigen's value optimization techniques all from the previous year here. You can simply follow my playlist CSIR UGC net for finding the more videos. So let's start with this video. So we will see the year December 2011 to 23. In this, in, in this video we will discuss more than 30 questions while the remaining 30 questions we will see in the part 2. Remember students in each year at least the two questions will be asked in the Markov chain and you can see from here these are the 12 years so each question in each year two questions will be asked at least so we will cover all those questions in this lecture series. So these are the basically three kinds of the questions are there the first kind is they are asking that you have to find the stationary probability of say 2 cross 2 matrix or it's so n cross n. Another category which is fall inside is whether you have to identify whether the state is absorbing, recurrent or the transient. And the last one is you have to identify whether it's the aperiodic, irreducible and what's the period of the state. So I can start with this video. We can start few questions firstly with this, this kind. Then we will discuss about this kinds and then later on here. So remember at the end of this video I will summarize all those shortcut tricks in a single slide. So you can watch till the end of this video. So let's start with this one. So a Markov chain has the two states. So you can always draw the matrix. There are the two states 1 and 2, 1 and 2. Where P12 that is this value is my A and P21 is my B. This is given to you and since it is a Markov chain we know the sum of the each row must be 1. So this value must be here fine now the question arises is what is my absorbing state what is the condition for the absorbing state the condition for the absorbing state is the diagonal entries the diagonal values or the diagonal entry must be one whenever the diagonal value is one then we can say that that state is the absorbing state so when it will be one when a is equal to zero when it will be one when b is equal to 0. So what is the condition for the absorbing state is a 0 and b 0 is the right answer of this problem. Fine. So this is the first steps for you how you can check for the absorbing state that is a diagonal entry must be 1. Now look at this another one again it is a 2 cross 2 fine then which of the four that what is the expected value. So firstly I will tell you what is how you can find the expected value expected value is nothing but 1 over the stationary probability. How you find the stationary probability? So all of you know that pi p is equal to pi where pi is called as the stationary probability. Then you can solve the equation. But what is the shortcut tips for you? Whenever there is a stationary probability, whenever you want to find the stationary probability of 2 cross 2, this is the state is my 0, this is 1, this is 0, this is 1. What is the shortcut tips for you? The stationary probability is, so look at the this values are there, look at these two diagonal value. The first stationary probability is 1 over 3, second stationary probability is 1 over 2 divided by sum of this. So that is 1 over 3 plus 1 over 2, 1 over 3 plus 1 over 2. So what is the answer of this? It is my 2 over 5 and it is my 3 over 5. This is state 0. This is state 1 and you need to find the station expected value at the 0. So what is the stationary probability is 2 by 5. What is the reciprocal of this is 5 by 2 is the right answer of this problem. So what is the shortcut tips for you? Whenever you have like of this, in this case what is the stationary probability? So what is the stationary probability of this? So that is a B and this is A and the diagonal sum 
opposite diagonal sum is b plus a and a b plus a this is the stationary probability of the state 1 this is the stationary probability of the state 2 so remember whenever you have the 2 cross 2 you have to apply this shortcut tips for you okay look at this one so again this is a markov chain how many states are there you can say it's a 1 it's a 0 so there are again the two states are there 0 1 0 1 so first of all it's a 1 to 1 1 to 1 is my p1 you can see 1 to 1 is my p1 so this is my p1 definitely it is my 1 minus p1 from here you can see 1 to 0 1 to 0 is 1 minus of this it's 0 to 1 0 to 1 here is my p0 this is my p0 and the opposite one is y minus p0 then what is that this is pi 1 corresponding to this this is my pi 1 and at x is equal to 0 is my here and since it is corresponding so these are my stationary probability so how you find the stationary probability of 2 by 2 case so that's a very simple how you can find this value that's 1 minus p1 over the sum of this so 1 minus p1 plus p0 second case is p0 over 1 minus p1 plus p0 this is my stationary probability now your target is to find the pi 1 pi 1 is a stationary probability corresponding to the state 1 so what is the answer of this this is my pi 1 so that is the right answer of this problem so you can see within the with this within this shortcut tricks you can solve the problem in a very simple manner so we will see all those questions with the help of such kind of the shortcut tricks okay so consider the markov chain and which of the following statements are necessary true so how you can do that look at that which of the following converts this and this so look at that uh, this is again 2 by 2 if i found the stationary probability corresponding to this it will be 0 over 0 0 over 0 it is not defined you can see the stationary probability of this is 1 by 2 1 by 2 the stationary probability of this will be 0 over half is a 0 1 by 2 half is 1 stationary probability of this is 1 over 3 by 2 this is 1 over 1 plus 1 by 2 so it's a 2 by 3 and it's a 1 by 3 but remember in this case they are not talking about the stationary probability they are talking about the limiting probability they are talking about the limiting probability but these are my stationary probability when the limiting probability is said to be the stationary probability when the chain is my irreducible and the chain is my a uh, periodic whenever you have satisfied these two conditions then the limiting is same as that of the stationary probability so look at that first of all you can see and limiting probability is a subset of the stationary probability fine so if if he said the stationary probability does not exist so what is the meaning of that it is a part of the stationary but you can see it exists then so this option is cancelled out stationary probability zero always exists that's true but maybe the zero for some case it can never be zero so this option is also cancelled out now look at these two by this is the exist and convergence here the limit exists if i take this p this is 0 1 1 0 what is my p scale if i found them it will be my here fine now clearly say that initially it becomes a 0 and then it's a 1 if you find the p cube again it will be my here so what is the meaning of that it are oscillating so once they are oscillating then the limit does not exist so limit does not exist it means this option is cancelled look at this first option so what is my p p is my i what is the p square it is also i p cube is also i it means these values are my constant and when it is a constant so it means it is converges to the single point 0 and 1 so that is the right answer of this problem okay look at this next one so now this is the conditional probability so what is the target is whenever there is a conditional probability start from here to this that is you start from the one ending at the point one what is the time period this is a zero this is the three so you need a three time period so the first method is this is the time period so you find the p cube this is my p so once you find the p multiply p multiply p you will get as three by three matrix 
then what is the 1 cross 1 this is the state from the 1 2 3 1 2 3 whatever the answer you can get this is the right answer but what is the shortcut to is you can draw this diagram this is the 1 2 3 so this is 1 2 3 1 2 3 so 1 to 2 you have a path 1 to 3 you have a path 2 to 1 you have a path 2 to 3 you have a path 2 to 3 and 3 to here the value is my 1 by 2 1 by 2 here now if you look about here you need a 3 path so it means 1 2 3 1 2 3 so how many way you can start from the 1 and reaching at the 1 by the 3 way so firstly you can go from 1 to 3 3 to 2 here is there any way other so you can start from the 1 if you move over from 1 to 2 then 2 to 3 and then 3 to 1 this is is there any other way no because we need a 3 path so what is the probability of the 1 to 3 it is 1 by 2 what is the probability of 3 to 2 it is again 1 by 2 it is again 1 by 2 this is also 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 so the total answer is 1 by 8 total answer is 1 by 8 so since it is a or so we can add them 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 is 1 by 4 is the right answer of this problem but if you want to calculate the p cube you may calculate them you can find p multiply p multiply p you will get the same answer okay now again you can see this is there you can start from the one ending at the point two one to two what is the time period it's a three it's a two so the time period is my one so it means you can directly go from one to two so they are the states of the zero one two three zero one two three so what is that 1 to 2 this is my 1 this is my 2 this is the right answer of this there is only one path so 0.50 is the right answer of this problem now this is the chain we call this as a chain so how you can do you can start from the previous one that is my 2 then 2 to 1 you can write as a 2 to 1 then 1 to 1 1 to 1 and then 1 to 2 what is the time period of this case this is a 0 this is the 1 so it's a 1 time period it's a 1 it's a 2 again it's a 1 time period it's a 2 to 3 it's a 1 time period and what is the initial probability this is my initial probability of the x0 so what is the initial probability of the x0 is 1 by 4 what is the probability of 2 to 1 so again 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 what is the probability from 2 to 1 0 what is the probability of 1 to 1? 1? 0.50. What is the probability of 1 to 2? 0.50. So what is the answer is 1 by 4, 0, 0, 0.50, 0, 0.50. So the right answer is my 0 is the right answer. So remember here, this is the path, this is a time period is 1. So that's why I can directly take here. If, if I say this is my 2, then the time period is my 2, then you have to find the path from here to here once you will draw the st study diagram otherwise you will find a p square then you will get again as the 4 cross 4 matrix then zero, 2 to 0 that is this value will give you the uh, sorry this value will give you the right answer of this 2 to 1 is my this value will give you the answer of this okay so now you can see here again it's my start from the 2 and reaching at the 1 what is the time period is 1 so one time period are there. what is the value of the this is state 1 2 3 so this is the probability of the state 1 so what is the initial probability of the state 2 the initial probability of the state 2 is my point 3 so what is the value of the 2 1 2 3 so 2 2 1 the answer is point 3 sorry this is the time period 1 at the initial time period 1 so value of the 2 to 1 is my point 35 and at the time period 1 the state is my this is the q1 so you have to find the probability at here this is a q0 of p so 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.5 what is the probability 0.3 can you find this missing number because the sum of the row is 1 so it is 0 0.5 0 0.2 0 0.35, 0 0.25, 0 0.4, 0 0.45, 0 0.46, 0 0.47, 0 0.48, 0 0.49, 0 0.50, 0 0.51, 0 0.52, 0 0.53, 0 0.54, 0 0.55, 0 
0.45.1. So once you will multiply, you will get the three answers. But we need a second. That state is my second is my second column. I need this value. How you can do this? Multiply by this. So 0.2 into 0.5. Plus 0.3 into 0.25, 0.45 into 0. 0.5 into 0.45. So this is 0.10. This is 0 0.75, 0 0.075, and this is 0 0.225. So what is the answer of this is 0 0.40. So this answer is my 0 0.4. So when you multiply them, so 0 0.35 into 0 0.4, 140. Five. So, 0.145 is the right answer. So, that is a none of this is the right answer of this problem. So, 0.145 is the because this is the Q1 and it's an initial probability. Initial probability is always with the Q0. So, you need to find the probability of the state 1. Okay, now look at that. This is the 4 cross 4 with the probability 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, you have to find the steady stationary probability. So remember, it is not 2 by 2. So how you can find the stationary probability? So first tips, if any state, if I say J state is my transient, how you can find that transient? I will tell you. Then the limiting probability as n approaches infinity of J, whatever the index is here, J to J is my 0 always. Fine. Now, how you can find the stationary uh, transient state are there? Firstly, one tips how you can check the transient state. Look at the column, look at the column and in which column there is only one value present here. Fine. Remember, I, I repeat them. Look the column, look the column in which only one value present and that value is not equal to 1. Make sure. So what is the value is 1 by 4. Clearly says 1 by 4 is not equal to 1. What is the position is? 2 comma 2. Fine. For example, if I say this value is my, okay, firstly, I can explain you here. So this is my here, which is a non-zero. So therefore, this column, that is my state 2 is transient. This state 2 is transient only when you look about the column and its value is non-zero. But make sure one more condition is necessary. What is that? If I, if I mark this value as here, say 1 by 4, and this is say 3 by 4. Again, this column has only one non-zero value. What is the position of this is 3, 2, which is non-zero. But simultaneously, you have to check also the reciprocal of this. 2, 3 is a non-zero. If 2, 3 is a non-zero, then this column is not transient. Fine. So look at that. If I say 3, 2, what is that value of 2, 3? You can see this is a non-zero. Then 2 is not a transient. Remember, this is a simple tips for you. There are many examples we will see in the couple of the examples. So look at this again. This value is my 2 comma 2. Fine. This is 1 by 4, which is non 1. So it, what is the reciprocal of this is again 2 comma 2, which is here. So there is no reciprocal. So it, this means this is my transient. Once this is my transient, so it means the limiting probability is 0. So look at that. This value is the state is 1, 2, 3, 4. So this value is non 0. This option cancel. This is non zero, this option cancel. Fine. Now you can delete this column. Fine. Now you can delete this column. What is the remaining side? Now, if you look about this one, what is the remaining is 1 by 3, and you can check whether it is a double stochastic Markov chain or not. What is the Markov stochastic Markov chain is that is the column sum and row sum. If they are same as a 1, then we call as the double stochastic Markov chain. You can see 1 by 3, 0, 1, 2 by 3, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2 by 3, 1, column wise 1, column wise 1, column wise 1. So it means yes, this is the stochastic double Markov chain. Whenever this is a double Markov chain, then the stationary probability is always be the 1 over number of states. This is a very simple shortcut test for you. You can solve the example within a 15 seconds. I explained that's why there is a need of time. So how many states after deleting this? There are the three. So what is the stationary probabilities? 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3. This is corresponding to the state 1. This is corresponding to state 3. This is corresponding to state 4. So you can see 
this is fine but you can see th this zero means the three is my transient but three is not transient this option cancelled this is the one one by three one by three and this is a zero so this is the right answer of this draw so what is the uh, what is the tips for you whenever the state is transient then their limiting probability at the j is always zero and whenever there is a double stochastic markov chain that is a column sum and the row sum is same then we can see that the stationary markov chain that is a stationary distribution is one over the number of the states look at this one so which of the following is a communicating class so what is the what is the tips for you how you can check for the communicating class i and j are communicating whenever probability of the i comma j of some step is greater than 0 and j i is also be a greater than 0 so look at that 3 1 so firstly 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 3 to 1 3 to 1 that's a non zero is, is it 1 to 3 is also non zero is 1 to 3 but it is a zero so this is not a communicating class 1 to 4 1 to 4 is a non zero 4 to 1 is a non zero so yes this is a communicating class 4 to 2 4 to 2 is a zero 2 to 4 zero so this is not be there 2 to 5 2 to 5 is a non zero 5 to 2 is a non zero so yes this is the right answers are there b and d are my right answer of this problem okay look at this one which are the fall now you have to find the recurrent whenever they are talking about the irreducible recurrent absorbing how you can find that okay absorbing how you can check absorbing whenever the diagonal is one so you can see the diagonal is one corresponding to the state okay so but that this is it means if i say so it means state has an absorbing state so that this is the correct option now look at this one so whenever they are talking about the recurrent r there so look at the diagram so 1 to 1 fine 1 to 2 1 to 3 2 to 1 2 to 2 and 3 to 3 now what is the meaning of the irreducible what is the meaning of the irreducible is if you start from the any of the state is it possible that you can come back to this state like here if you go from 1 to 2 yes you can possible go back from 2 to 1 but if you go from 1 to 3 is it possible that you can come back to the 1 no so it means this is not irreducible so once it is not irreducible it means this is my reducible mark of chain so first option is cancel out what is the recurrent state is recurrent state is if you start from the one is it possible if you go from one is it possible you can come back to the one again for example here can you say that two is my recurrent if you start from the two either you can go here so then again you can come back to the two if you go from here again you can come back to one so this is my recurrent is it possible for the one for this side it is yes but if you go from one to three is there any path which can come back to the one through any way no so it means this is my transient in the last example i said every in each column is a one one value then it's a transient but that is only the one condition okay so this is not so can you go three you can go only this side so it is a bad so this is also the recurrent and it has a self loop so it is a absorbing but he said xn but they are not talking about the state it means all these states are my recurrent but not there because one is my transient fine now how you can check the stationary probability so once you can check about the r periodic what is the meaning of the r periodic is simple tips for you whenever there is a self loop whenever there is a self loop then the period of that periodic is my one period is denoted by d so look at that there is a self loop so the period is one there is a self loop period is one there is a self loop period is one so a periodic means when you have the state period is my one so it means yes this is my a period fine but they are not talking about the periodic 
now the last tips for you how you can check for the stationary whenever there is a irreducible and it is a, a periodic then you will always get a unique stationary probability but whenever but whenever you have a reducible markov chain and a periodic markov chain these two conditions satisfied it means it has infinitely many stationary distribution these two tips for you so look at that this example is my reducible so it means it has infinitely many stationary distribution but here he said does not admit that's a wrong statement because it has infinitely many statements are so it has the absorbing state yes 3 is my absorbing state is the right answer because they are talking about only the one state are okay look at this one so which of the following are there so have the same periods are there okay so look at that the diagonal values is my one here fine so it means the this state 1 2 3 4 5 the state 5 is my absorbing state fine rest are not now firstly you can draw the diagram because 3 is my here i can write 1 2 3 4 5 so how you can draw 1 to 1 self loop 1 to 2 2 to 1 2 to 2 3 2 1 3 to 2 3 to 3 3 to 4 3 to 5 4 to 1 4 2 this is my 4 to 2 4 to 3 4 2 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 now look at that first one is all they have the same period look at that there is a self loop so what is the period of 1 there is a self loop 1 period of 2 is also 1 period of 3 is also one because all have this self loop so all have the same period is the right answer look at the transient state firstly check about the one is it recurrent or the transient if you go from 1 to 2 how many way are there to go from the one 1 to 1 or 1 to 2 so 1 to 1 that's fine 1 to 2 then again you can come back so it means one is my recurrent state fine so one is communicated to two is go again so one and two both are my recurrent state look at the three if you go three to four then again there is a one path from four to three but if you go from three to five but there is no path from five to three it means three is my transient state because you get at least one path from the three to five which is not come back to the three okay look at the fourth if you go uh, 4 to 2 2 to 1 then again you are unable to come back to the 4 fine 4 to 2 if you go back from 4 to 2 2 to 1 but you are unable to come back on 1 because 1 is not be there so again 4 is also be the transient state 5 how many ways to get? only you can go from 5 to 5 there is a possible path so 5 is my absorbing as well as recurrent so all the states are recurrent that's a wrong statement because 3 are my recurrent and absorbing some state are my transient yes that's true because 3 and 4 are my transient all the states are uh, recurrent that's a wrong statement because my getting a 3 and 4 are my transient state so the right answer is a and d are my correct answer okay this again absorbing so state 1 is absorbing state 1 that is a state 1 2 3 4 so when the state 1 is absorbing when the, this diagonal value will be 1 but it is not 1 it's a cancel out now you can draw the diagram 1 2 3 4 okay any of the column is one value yes this value is my 1 fine so this position is my 2 4 which is which is not 1 what is the opposite of this 4 2 the 4 2 is my non zero so it means this is this 4 you can't say it's transient it's a non transient state it is only transient when it is equal to zero the opposite of them is zero so it means this is not a transient so now you can draw the diagram so 1 1 to 2 there is only one path 2 to 3 2 to 3 2 to 4 this is also there 3 to sorry 3 to 
थ्री टू वन फोर टू टू फोर टू टू फोर टू थ्री फाइन दिस आर दिमेट ना फर्स्ट ऑल दिस पॉजिटिव एक्ट नो वी विल सी टू एंड फोर आर कम्युनिकेट टू ईच अदर सो इज इट पॉसिबल दैट यू कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द फोर एंड कम बैक फोर एंड हियर टू टू फोर ईयर्स टू टू फोर ईयर्स बिकॉज यू कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द टू टू फोर एंड फोर टू हियर दैट्स अ पॉसिबल सो इट मीन्स दिस ऑप्शन इज माई करेक्ट ऑप्शन फाइन नाउ लुक एट दी अनदर वन ऑल दी स्टेट्स आर पॉजिटिव रेकोरेंट सो यू कैन सी वेदर दिस आर रेकोरेंट और नॉट इफ यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द वन यू कैन गो फ्रॉम द टू 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 फ्रॉम वेयर यू कैन टू टू थ्री देन थ्री टू वन इट इज अ पॉसिबल वन पाथ लाइक दिस 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 बट इफ यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वन टू 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 फोर देन फोर टू थ्री थ्री टू वन अगेन इट्स अ पॉसिबल इफ यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वन टू 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 फोर फोर टू 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 थ्री अगेन पॉसिबल सो दैट मीन्स दिस इज अ रेकोरेंट आर सो इट मीन्स द दिस इज माई रेकोरेंट फाइन टू इज ऑल्सो रेकोरेंट बिकॉज यू कैन गो फ्रॉम टू टू थ्री थ्री टू वन वन टू टू सो दिस इज ऑल्सो द रेकोरेंट एंड टू एंड फोर आर कम्युनिकेट इच अदर सो दिस इज ऑल्सो द रेकोरेंट लुक एट द थ्री सो यू कैन गो थ्री टू वन वन टू 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 थ्री सो दिस इज ऑल्सो बी अ रेकोरेंट क्लास सो ऑल दिस क्लासेस आर माई रेकोरेंट क्लासेस नाउ यू कैन चेक अबाउट दी सो नन ऑफ दिस इज अ कैंसल आउट ऑल आर माई वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द पॉजिटिव रेकोरेंट पॉजिटिव रेकोरेंट इज लुक एट दैट इफ आई स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दी पी ऑफ वन वन वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट इफ आई फाउंड दिस इफ आई फाउंड ऑफ दिस एन ऑफ दिस वन वन एंड फ्रॉम वन टू इन्फिनिटी सो वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट इफ आई स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हेयर पी वन इज वन देन टू वन वन देन थ्री वन वन एंड सॉन सो इज देर एनी पाथ वी कैन गो फ्रॉम वन टू वन नो इज देर एनी पाथ वी कैन गो फ्रॉम टू स्टेप वन टू टू देर इज नो स्टेप आर देयर सो जीरो इज देर एनी पाथ फ्रॉम द थ्री स्टेप येस यू कैन सी दिस इज अ थ्री स्टेप सो वट इज द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ दिस दिस इज द फाइनेट नंबर एंड सो ऑन सो यू कैन सी दिस इफ दिस इज अ लेस दैन जीरो इन्फिनिटी दैट इज अ फाइनेट नंबर देन यू कैन से इट्स अ पॉजिटिव रेकोरेंट इफ इट इज इक्वल टू इन्फिनिटी देन वी कैन से इट्स अ नल रेकोरेंट रेकोरेंट इज ऑल्सो कोल्ड एज द परसिस्टेंस बट हेयर यू कैन सी इट्स एस ऑल आर माई पॉजिटिव रेकोरेंट सो आंसर इज माई बी एंड सी आर दी करेक्ट ऑप्शन Okay, look at that. All the mark of chains are recurrent. What is the meaning of the recurrent? Is as I tell you, what is the meaning of the recurrent? Is if you start from the ith state, you can go to the jth and come back to the jth or ith also. That's the meaning of the recurrent. I and j are the two states. If I belongs goes to the j, what what is the definition of the recurrent? There exists must a path from j to i also. so the first option is correct one so whenever there is a path what is the meaning of that probability of this must be greater than 0 but here this is the word of the or that's a wrong statement it must be the and so that's why this option is cancelled out look at this one now what is the tips for you here whenever you are to find this as and whenever this is a finite then this j state is my transient i tell you the two tips first and earlier what is the stationary probability when j is transient that means this probability is my zero when j is transient and the sum of them is finite then we can say j is my transient but here but j is my recurrent so this option is cancel out Again, this option is cancelled out because this is a word of or. If it is a and, then it is a correct option. So this is a right, wrong answer. Correct option is only A is my right answer. Okay, let this is a Markov chain of the state zero one. Then it has a unique stationary distribution. So remember, I already tell when it will be the unique, when it will be the irreducible, and it is a e a periodic. but the this question it doesn't tell that is a uh, is irreducible but for example if i say my 0 comma 1 is a two state if i simply say 1 1 are there what is the 
what is the st uh, what is the here this and this so is it possible you can go from 0 to 1 no so that means this is my irreducible markov chain and since it's a self loop it is a, a periodic also fine so whenever it's a reducible and a periodic then it has how many stationary dis distributions infinitely many stationary distribution but they are talking about the uni so thus option is cancel out what is the meaning of this this is a conditional probability that means a 0 to 0 of step period n is convergence that is also not true because if you simply take p is my 0 1 1 0 fine because this is the i if i take here what is my p square p square is 1 0 0 1 fine what is my p cube p cube is 0 1 0 1 0 so what is the meaning of that 0 0 this is my 0 0 this is my 0 0 so look at that limit as n approaches infinity p 0 0 so this will be either 1 or 0 1 when n is my even look at that 2 when it is a odd then it's a 0 so what is the meaning of that limit does not exist because sometimes it's a 0 sometimes it's a 1 so limit does not exist it means it does not converge cancel the chain may have the one recurrent and the one transient state that's true because you can see here what is that there is a absorbing states but if you look about this is my markov chain so clearly say that these are my recurrent okay but if you think about like here only so clearly say that you can go from 0 to 1 but you can never back to a like of here say so what is the meaning of that this 0 you can never come back to the 0 so this is my transient and you come back to the 1 so this is my recurrent so one recurrent one transient maybe both are this is the recurrent this is a recurrent both may be recurrent both may be transient both may be here so it has may have one recurrent may have one transient that's a here the chain is always irreducible that's a wrong answer because i already give one example here it's a reducible so the right answer is my only c is the correct answer okay so for the state j the transient state is my i so i is my transient state so what is the tips for you so what is the tips for you whatever the written in last side is my j oh, sorry i is my transient so whatever the i is here so this is a j is a cancel out this is j is a cancel out what is the summation probability it must be fine so you can see here this only this is because this is equality so equality is not be there this is the right answer of this and uh, second tips already give you that this value and approaches infinity j i is my zero that is the tips for the transient straight okay now look at about this one so which are the following now you have to talking about the uh, stationary probability check whether there is a column sum is one no so it means it is not double is stochastic fine if it is a double is stochastic then you can say it will be one by three number of the states are one okay look at that when it will be zero when one is my transient fine so what is the meaning of that transient that means you can if i, if I just draw this diagram one two three so one two three so one two one one two 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 three three two one three two two three two three so look at that if you go from one to two is it possible that you can come back to the one again one to two two to three three to one so yes this is my recurrent is it possible if you go from the two come back to the two again two to three three to one two to three three to one one to three this is also be a recurrent is it also possible three to two two to one three to one one to two two to three this is also be a recurrent so since this is the one is my recurrent so this option is cancelled now how you can find the stationary probability tips for you you can find the stationary probability by using this rule p minus i transpose is equal to zero that's a very simple tips for you so what is a p minus i 
it's my minus half transpose so i can return like column wise 0 1 by 3 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 1 by 3 0 1 by 2 minus 2 by 3 so stationary probability if i say v1 v2 v3 is my 0 now since it is a 3 cross 3 so you can solve any of the two row any of the two row so let's say i can start with the first and second i can delete the third row so if i reduce them is half 0 so if i add them 0 minus half 2 by 3 and it is v1 v2 v3 so i can write in the equation so v1 over 2 is equal to v3 over 3 fine similarly for the second is v2 over 2 2 v3 over 3 fine now how you can find the value so these are two equations i can return like of this many so from here i can divide it this two by here so v3 is my 3 v2 is my 4 v1 is my 2 so what is the answer of the 1 1 is my 2 what is the total is 9 what is the answer of 2 4 over 9 3 over 9 so look at the answer so it's a 3 what is the answer of 3 is 3 by 9 that's the correct option it's a 2 answer of 2 is 4 by 9 that's a wrong answer answer of 1 2 by 9 but already they reduced them it's a 1 so 2 by 9 is the right answer so a and d are my correct answers moreover you can also check whether this is a reducible or irreducible if you start from the 1 can you reach back to the 1 yes 2 yes so this is my irreducible fine okay is it a periodic there is a self loop there is a self loop so that means this is a, a periodic fine so once it's a irreducible it's a, a periodic so it will give you a unique stationary distribution so, and what's the value of the unique stationary distribution is my here so this is the simple tips for you you can remember okay so this mu 1 mu 2 mu 3 and mu 4 are my stationary distribution fine then of the then suppose 1 and 2 are my transient what is the meaning of that if 1 and 2 are my transient what is the meaning of that limit the corresponding stationary probability that is a mu 1 corresponding limiting probability of the mu 2 is my 0 because for the transient so it means this value is my 0 this value is my 0 so this is a right answer fine which of the following is or are true 3 and 4 are communicate each other it means 3 and 4 are communicate so that means 3 and 4 both are my recurrent states fine now they are not talking about the recurrence so we all know this is a probability the sum of them will be 1 so what is the meaning of that mu 3 plus mu 4 is my 1 so this is the right answer one of the mu 3 and mu 3 mu 3 and mu 4 is 0 this is not necessary this is not necessary this is 0 only when 3 or 4 is either of them is a transient this is wrong now look at the first option so i can write the p cube as p p p and here i can return as p p p and p so what is the meaning of the stationary probability if you multiply them the p it will give you as a mu that's the meaning of the stationary probability now look at that what is the value of this mu so that's a p into p this is my mu mu into p is again my mu so left hand side is my mu so this is my mu mu into p again mu this into p again mu this into this again mu this into this is again mu so the left hand side and both are same so the right answer is this also so a b and c are my correct answers of the year december 2011 okay now look at this option so what is given to you uh, pn is a sequence of the number so that pn is my greater than 0 and the transition probability is my here so how you can solve this one so firstly try to states are my 0 1 2 so on 0 1 2 and so on so firstly we will draw the steady state diagram 0 1 so 0 to 0 self loop 0 to 1 0 to 2 0 to 3 and so on so that is my continuum. now 1 to 0 there is a probability 
that's over 2 to 1 there is a probability 2 to 1 3 to 1 is a probability and so this is the way you have to complete the diagram and this is 3 to 2 1 now chain is irreducible or not firstly we will check about the irreducible if you start from the zero is it possible you can return back to the zero by from this to this yes if you go from 0 to 2 2 to 1 1 to 2 yes 0 to 3 3 to 2 th 2 to 1 yes if you start from the 1 if you go from the 0 0 to 1 that's possible 1 to 0 0 to 2 2 to 1 that's again possible if you start from the 2 2 to 1 1 to 0 0 that's so that means this is my e reducible fine so that is not a reducible that's a cancel now we can check about the transient fine so whether, whether uh, is a transient or not look at the zero is there what is a transient is if you start from the any of the state you are unable to reach at the point so since it is a irreducible so if you start from the zero you can come back here you can come back here that's possible so similarly for the one it's all possible so all these states are my recurrent fine so that means there is no transient state so there is no transient state so this option is also cancel out now they are talking about the positive recurrent or the null recurrent so as i discuss you what is the meaning of the positive recurrent is you start from here and p i i of n if it is infinity then we can say it's a null if it is less than infinity then we can say it's a positive recurrent so let's start if i try to find for a zero zero that's a very simple so what is the meaning of that is a zero zero of n and start from the one to infinity so if i substitute one so that means zero zero of one two times zero zero two three times zero zero three and so on so what is the meaning of the zero zero one step is it possible in the here from the one step yes the answer is my p0 is it possible you can start from the zero reaching at the point zero after a two step zero to one zero to one is my p1 it it is my one so that is my probability is p1 in the three step so you start from the zero to one uh, you start from the zero uh, zero zero three step so how you can do that uh, in in the three step how you can do 0 to this uh, 0 to 1 how you can do that uh, this value is my p2 uh, this way because uh, if you use from the 0 to 1 there is no way you can get so this is a two step so that means 0 to 2 2 to 1 1 1 to 0 so this is my p this so p2 1 1 so this is my p2 similarly for the next is 4 p3 and so on so what is that I can return this number as of n p n where n is my 1 2 here fine I can can I write this number sorry it's a 0 so I can return as a 0 fine so how you can write that how you can write that how you can say this number is finite how you can say ah this is given to you you can see here this is a finite number this is given to you a finite number so what is the meaning of that if it is a less than it's a positive recurrent that's the last option is correct third option is correct cancel out so the right answer is only my d is the right answer of this problem fine so this this is my right answer of this problem here and this zero is also start so you can start from the zero 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 so that's value is my zero so this is my one and then so uh, how you know if you open that it's a 0 p0 0, but we need a 1 p0 0. that is not true sorry it's it's not it, it can't be written like here so how you can write that it's a p0 so what i can write that i can separate p1 i can take the 1 p2 and here and what is that it's my 1 p1 it is my 2 p2 it is my 3 p3 and so on what is the value of this p0 p1 p2 this value is my 1 
and now you can see it's the n of pn where n start from d so this is my finite so one plus finite is my finite then it's a positive rectangle now it's the correct option okay now look at this next option so how you can solve this uh, recent september 2022 firstly you went to draw the diagram 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 2 2 2 1 3 2 4 4 2 3 remember there is a one column but you can't say it's a transient because i i already told you when you look over the one column the value must be non one so this is the diagram the value is my one 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 and one so is it reducible is it reducible yes because if you start from one there is no way you can go from other sides you can go one to two you can easily reach if you start from the one can you reach back to the one yes if you start from the two can you reach back to the one two yes and so on so this is a reducible so first option is correct option all the states are recurrent we will check that if you go from the one can you come back to the one yes so this is my recurrent same this is my recurrent three to four is recurrent and this is recurrent moreover you can say three to four and one to two are communicate class fine so once they are the communicating class if you prove that that means one and two same nature if they are in the same communicating class they have the same nature similarly three and four are the same nature so if you prove that one is a recurrent so that two is also the recurrent if you prove three is a transient then four is also be the transient but if you prove three is a recurrent the four is also the recurrent all the states are recurrent that's a correct state all the states are the same period now let's calculate them how you can calculate there is a no self loop then how you can calculate gcd how many what is the path from one to one so there is a one path how many steps you have taken two is there any other way you can go no so that is a gcd of only two is my two what is that low cost they are the same complicated class but gcd of them is also with two what is the gcd of the three so how you can go from the three to four there are two steps here so because three and four are in the same complicated class so it is also to all have the same period that is a right answer. now you have to check whether they have uh, whether the limit exists or not so how you can check that since period of the each state is not one what is the meaning of that is it a periodic no so we prove that it's a irreducible we prove that it's a not a periodic so it means the unique stationary distribution does not exist so what is the meaning of that it means it has infinitely many stationary distribution so what is the meaning of that once it has infinitely many stationary distribution look at that the column sum and the row sum is one so it means the one of the stationary probabilities number of the states are four so one by four one by four one by four since it has many others so you can find the sum another r also by using p minus i transpose so since it has a different limit so the limit does not exist because from the one side is a 1 by 4 from the other side it has another value so the limit does not exist so it means this option is cancel out right option is a b and d are the correct answers okay look at this next question so what is given to you p i j of n is my greater than 0 p j i of m is greater than 0 what is the meaning of that i and j are communicate classes or communicate class that is i and j are communicate class so what as i told you in the previous example if they are communicate class they have the same nature so if i and j are communicate class so if i is recurrent it implies j is recurrent if i is transient this implies j is transient and vice versa that is the if and only so if i is transient then j is transient that's the correct options as already told you if they are the same natures then the period is also same so they are in the same class so d of i is also be the d of j so this is also the correct option now 
if the Markov chain is a periodic, but then the limiting probability are same. So what is the meaning of that? That's a unique. But when look at that, if I look over this last option, firstly, P I J of N, P J J of N. Okay. What is the meaning of the limiting probability? You will get this answer. That is P 1 1 P uh, li limiting probability has the same answer always. No? So you can say this is say pi 1, this is pi 2, this is pi 3 for example. Then the same answer of here pi 1 because steady state probability is independent of the time period. Now look at that i i j j i i that is a 1 1 and 2. So pi 1 is equal to pi 2 when when the Markov chain is my double is stochastic Markov chain but they are not talking they are simply say the Markov chain so it means this happens only when it is a double Markov chain but it is not given so this option is cancelled out look at this one ij and jj ij so if i say if i take i is equal to 1 j is equal to 3 so it's my 1 3 jj is my 3 3 so that means these two are always same because this is the same column so that means this option is my correct option so a b and d are my correct options so I can elaborate this point one more time. So whenever you have the stationary probability pi, if I say this is my 1 by 2, for example, this is say my 1 by 4, this is my 1 by 4, then the value of the each column of the respective column is my same. Fine. This is a stationary probability. Remember this column is same value. This is same value. Stationary probability is independent of the initial choice or initial distribution. Fine. So that's why same. So if you look about that, the diagonal value will be same only when it's a double Markov chain. But here it's the ij. ij means what is the meaning of the pij and pjj? That means the jth column. That's the meaning of the jth column. And the any any column has the same value. That's why this is the right answer. Okay, which of the following is the transition probability matrix? TPM. What is the condition? Each probability must be greater than 0 or equal to 0, but sum is also be 1. Any real number. So say k is equal to 7. So this number is my greater than 1. It's a 14, which is a greater than 1. So this number is cancelled. Less than 0. Any number you can take less than 0. So say minus of 3. This number is my negative. Minus 6, but probability is always lies between 0 1. So this is cancelled out. Any positive real number. If I say k is my 7, this number is my 14 which is greater than 1 this number is my negative less than 0 this is not possible only number is my here another method second method is sum of them is a 1 so you can see sum is 1 column is 1 so it means since it is a probability so this number must lies between 0 and 1 2k must lies between 0 and 1 so what is the meaning of that 2k lies between 0 1 means k lies between 0 and half so that means of C is my correct option of this state. Okay, so it's a Markov chain and step probability and here. So what is given to you? That's again, I think a very simple statement. If you consider the periods are, okay, firstly, I will give you a text. Whenever they have the same period, then what is the meaning of that? What, sorry. If I say Pij of sum is greater than 0, P of Ji of sum M is greater than 0, what is the meaning of that? I and J are communicating each class. That means I and J are. So what is the meaning of that? If this happens, what is the meaning of that? Both have the same natures. Period is also be the same. But converse need not be true. Need not true. So for example, here you can see this option is the correct option. But look at that. If you consider any of the example whose period is my same. Say, if I consider two state, look at that. Period is my same, self loop. So period is my one, one. So this condition satisfied. But P, I, J, look at that. Is If I consider I is one, J is two. What is the value of the P, one, two? This is zero, which is not greater than zero so first option is cancel out otherwise if you remember these tips that's the right answer second is if the period are same again you can see 
d i j is greater than zero. Again, that is not true. This is i j. Again, you can see how you can draw the transition diagram. One two, one two. So this is self loop. One one rest are zero. So one two is a zero, but it said greater than zero. This option is cancelled. Look at this one. If limiting value of the i j is my greater than zero, i j. Okay, then here. So if I consider this value. i j so i j is my here but they are not talking about that j i what is that j i is greater than 0 they are not talking about that so i can take j i is maybe 0 this value is my greater than 0 here fine now what is the diagram of this what 0 to 0 0 to 1 this is my here fine so what is the period of the one so that is a g c d of How many step you can come back to the one? So you ca you can never come back to one. So that means period of the one is my zero. What is the period of the two? Since there is a self loop, so period is always one. Remember, whenever there is a self loop, period is always one. So you can see this condition satisfied here, but this is not be satisfied. So the right answer is my C, which you can also remember by using these tips for you. Okay, which of the following statements are correct? So that's again same. You can see this is a December nineteen. What is the meaning of that? I and J behave same. Fine. So what is the meaning of that? If I is recurrent, J is recurrent. Correct. If this is true, so what is the meaning of that? It behave A like. Also, we can say the period is same. Remember, converse need not be true. As I give you this example. So second is D I D J is also same. That's fine. If I assume R is positive such that P I J is my greater than zero, strictly greater than zero. Okay, so if I consider this here, I J is my greater than zero, then J is my transient. So that's not true. If I consider this example, one, same here, fine. So I J, this is my I J. If I consider I is one, J is my two. This is my greater than zero. But J is not a transient because what is the meaning of the transient? If you start from the J, you can never come back to the J. But here you can easily see that this is my absorbing but not transient. So this option is cancelled out. If I J is greater than zero, I is my null recurrent. So first of all, it's a recurrent. Okay. So if I consider one more example here and say three, and there is a self loop. Fine. So what is the meaning of that? Then J is my positive recurrent. That's also not true. This is the same same example out there. Because once you will find n into p, say of the one one state, so clearly say that because there is no value, so it is my here. So this option is also cancelled. You can simplify this. That is a very simple. So the right answer is A and B are my correct options. Okay. So again, they are talking about the period. You can check about the states. Zero, one, two. Again, you can see that diagonal values are both values are one one, so it's a double Markov chain. So the stationary probability is one by three, one by three, one by three. But they are not talking about that. Okay, so it's a zero one two zero one two zero two one. There is a one path. One two two. There is a one path. Two two one. There is a one path. Fine. So each class communicate to each other. So you can say it is a a radius. Fine. Now we can check about the R periodic. What is the meaning of the R periodic? Is when you find period is my one for the each state, then you can say that periodic is one. So let's start with the period of this G C D of this. How many step you can take if you start from the zero, come back to the zero again? There is a one, two, three. There is no more, so that's my three. What is the period of one? So clearly say that which is not equal to one, so it is not a periodic. So that means this is my Periodic. So the state zero is my a periodic, but state zero is not equal to one. So this option is cancelled out. All the states are a periodic because it's cancelled out because the zero state is not a periodic. What is the GCD of the one? How many ways you can one, two, three? There are the three steps. So GCD is also one, three. Similarly, of this. So clearly say that none of the state is my periodic. State zero has the period two. That's not two. State zero has the period three. This is all the state has the period three is the correct answer. 
again i remember i recall that if there is a self loop then the period is one always okay now you can see here so which of the following is the, now look at the first option so i can write here p 2 1 time period is my 2 right hand side is p 2 1 time period is my 2 so both are same correct option chain is irreducible so how you can see now if you look at that how many states 0 1 2 3 so there is no need to draw the diagram because none of the values are zero so you can go from 1 to 1 1 to 2 1 to here you can go everywhere this is the diagram you can easily compute fine this is a self loop self loop so it is you can see that from each state you can go back to this so it's a irreducible thing. or you can say 0 1 2 3 are communicate classes so now you can see these are the communicate classes it means all have the same nature and all have the same period all have the same period so since there is a self loop because the diagonal entries are non zero so the value the period is my one so that means this chain is my a uh, period this is a uh, periodic this is here this is irreducible as well so it means is irreducible is a uh, periodic it means it has a unique stationary point and none of because it's a, a, all the states are communicate so all the states are my recurrent state so this is my recurrent so since all the states are same so one state is recurrent all the states are recurrent state 1 and 2 are only recurrent that's wrong correct answers are all the states are recurrent it is a recurrent mark of chain yes all this when you can say it's a recurrent mark of chain when all the states are recurrent then the state is recurrent mark of chain so a b and d are my correct answers okay now look at this it is similar to the previous one but it's a different state because it's a 0 1 0 and here so 0 1 2 0 1 2 so 0 to 1 1 2 2 2 to 1 fine so each class are communicate to each others so it means 0 1 2 are my communicating class also they are irreducible is there any path you can start from the zero you can never come back to the one or the zero and say if you start from the one is it possible you can go from the two two to n so it means this is my recurrent fine so once this is my recurrent all the class have the same so all the all the states are recurrent now find is a irreducible yes it's a recurrent yes is a uh, periodic we will check whether it's a uh, periodic or not we will find the periodic of what is the period of the zero gcd of 3 because there is only three path are there which is not one so it is a uh, not a uh, period fine so this option is cancel out has a stationary distribution when it will be the stationary when it's a uh, periodic and irreducible but it is not a reduce is not a periodic so it means it has infinitely many stationary distribution so this option is cancel out if it has infinitely many stationary one stationary distribution is 1 by 3 1 by 3 1 by 3 because it has a double stochastic mark of chain so the right answer is a and b are the correct options of this example Okay, now look at this one. So the states are my zero, two, four, six, zero, two, four, six. So zero, two, four, six, zero to two, zero to two, two to zero, two to four, four to two, four to six, six to one. So clearly, say the diagonal entry has a one. So six is my absorbing state. Now, firstly, check the irreducible. Is it possible if you start from the zero, come back to the zero? Yes. If you start from the two, you can go from here. You can come back. If you go from here, but you can never come back. Look at that. Zero to four, but if you go from four to six, which can never come. If you start from the two to four, four to six. but you can never come back to the 2 or you can say 0 to 2 2 to 
टू टू फोर फोर टू सिक्स यू कैन नेवर कम बैक इट मीन्स दिस इज नॉट ए रिडिसिबल फाइन सो द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज ए रिडिसिबल इज अ कैंसल आउट ऑल्सो यू कैन से जीरो टू टू इज अ कम्युनिकेट क्लास फाइन बट ऑल्सो वट इज काइंड ऑफ द जीरो जीरो इज माई रेकुरेंट क्लास बिकॉज इफ यू गो फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन नेवर कम बैक टू द जीरो बाई यूजिंग दिस पाथ तो जीरो इज माई ट्रांजिएंट स्टेट वंस जीरो इज ट्रांजिएंट सो दे आर द कम्युनिकेट सो टू इज ऑल्सो विद माई ट्रांजिएंट स्टेट फाइन नाउ टू टू फोर सो इफ यू गो फ्रॉम हियर अगेन दिस वन सो जीरो एंड सिक्स आर द रेकुरेंट स्टेट दैट्स फ्रॉम बिकॉज जीरो इज माई ट्रांजिएंट स्टेट सिक्स इज द ओनली रेकुरेंट स्टेट दैट्स टू बिकॉज इफ यू गो फ्रॉम सिक्स देर इज ओनली वन वे एंड इट इज पॉसिबल यू कैन कम बैक so 6 is my recurrent as well as absorbing state so this is the correct option only sorry only zero only zero so is it only zero uh if it if we go from the 2 2 to 4 this you can never and 2 are the close communicate class 0 and 4 are the 0 and 4 here that's 2 but 6 is the but that is not true because 2 is my transient class this is me so this is not the right answer c is my correct option of this exam okay now look at this one so there are the 30 23 states unique irreducible recurrent and here okay that's a very simple i think i can draw this space 1 2 3 4 5 23 22 and so on 1 to 2 probability is my half 1 to 23 probability is half 23 to 1 probability is half 23 to 22 probability is half now i from 2 to 1 so if 2 if i take 2 so 2 1 2 1 probability is also half 2 3 probability is also half when you take 3 3 2 probability is also half and so on so that means this is the way this is 21 and so on fine this is the way now clearly say that this is my irreducible fine because each are communicate to each other also you can see there is a one only one possible chain you, you can start from the one 1 to 2 2 to 3 and then so on you can easily reach 1 to up to 23 are my communicate class it means the period are my same now what check whether is a recurrent or the transient so is it possible you can start from the zero come back to the zero always if you go from the 1 to 2 yes you can come back if you go from the 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 2 2 to 1 that's 2 1 to 23 23 to 1 and here so yes one is my recurrent so since it is a communicate class all these states are my communicate class now so it's irreducible that's correct how you can check for the unique for the uniqueness we check whether it's a periodic or not so now for the a periodic what is the period of the one we can check only for the period one because it's a communicate so it's the same as of the period 2 same as of the period 23 so how you can check for the period one So that's a GCD. So how many ways are there? So this is a one step, one step. So two step here. After that one to two. If I go for one to two, two to three, three to two, two to one. So how many path? One, two, three, four, four. After that one one path will be one to two, two to three, three to four, and so on up to twenty three to one. How many path will be there? Twenty three paths. now you can see what is the gcd of the 2 and 23 1 so it means because all are my communicate class so the gcd of the 2 is also 1 which is same as that of 23 so all the states have the period 1 so yes it's a a periodic once is irreducible once is a a periodic it means it has a unique distribution all the states are recurrent we already proved that now come back to the limiting probability now how you can do that that's again a very simple because we know it's a unique distribution so we can see here i can write 1 2 up to 23 1 2 23 
1 to 2 probability sorry there is no self loop 1 to 2 probability half 2 to 1 probability half 1 to 23 rest all values are zero it's a half 2 to 1 2 to 3 2 to 3 rest values are my zero similarly for at 23 it's from 23 to 1 23 to 22 this is my 22 zero now what do you get that column sum 1 column sum 1 column sum 1 row sum 1 row sum 1 it is a double stochastic markov chain once is a double stochastic markov chain what is the what is the steady state probability 1 over number of the states how many number of the states 23 so that is the right answer of this problem so all are my correct option of this here remember this is a very useful concept for you double stochastic markov chain okay now look at this one so uh, n is my greater than 10 so i simply take n is my 11 so states are my 1 2 up to 11 you define the probability when it's a even it's a positive otherwise zero so fine that's fine very simple it means if i take when it will be even when you, i take 1 3 5 7 9 and 11 then only it will be the even so it means 1 3 5 7 9 11 then only it will be the uh, it will be the even and the rest are 2 4 6 8 10 these are my even so 1 2 3 probability of 1 2 3 is even so it has some value 3 to 1 it has some value 1 to 11 10 is a even it has some value 11 minus 10 is has some value so this is the case this is a transition diagram 1 to 5 yes also 5 to 1 that's also 1 5 1 7 1 and here similarly 2 this 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 find all are there. now whether the chain is irreducible or not now how you can check whether it's irreducible or no so clearly say that there is no path there is no path from 1 to 2 so what is the meaning of that it is not irreducible fine so the chain is irreducible cancel out so once it is not irreducible it means if you think about the stationary probability it will give you the infinitely many fine there exists a state i which is a transient what is the meaning of that transient if you go from the one state but you never return back to the one so but there is no way are there so it means there is all the states are my all the states are my recurrent and now you can see these are communicate to each other 1 3 5 7 up to 11 are communicate class here 2 4 6 8 10 are my communicate class so one is my recurrent so all are my recurrent two is my recurrent so all are my recurrent are there. now period so what is the look at the period of the one gcd how many way 1 2 is there any other way 1 2 3 3 whatever is there now you can see the gcd of 2 is 1 so 1 gcd is always 1 so this has a period 1 this has a period 1 this has the period 1 because communicate has the same period all has the so there exists a state i so all these states has the period 1 but there exists one so that's a correct statement similarly if you look about the period of the 2 gcd there is a one path that's a 2 there is also 3 1 2 and 3 again the gcd of the 2 and 3 is 1 so this also the 1 1 1 and so all the state has the period 1 does it infinitely many solution yes because it is a a periodic because the period is one and it is a reducible so it has infinitely many distributions are there. so the answer are c and d are my correct answers of this problem okay look at this last example are there so this is 19 are there stationary probabilities and here okay so if i just try to write the transition diagram firstly 0 1 2 and so on 0 1 2 and so on whenever j is 0 that is the first column the answer is always q q q q r there fine 
whenever j is my i plus 1 so if i take i is equal to 0 then this is my here answer is 1 minus q and the rest are my 0 if i take i is my 1 so j will be my 2 this will be my 1 minus q rest all are my 0 similarly for here it is 1 minus q rest are 0 and so on then which of the following statements are true so so what you can do you can uh, draw the diagram firstly this is 0 1 2 3 and so on so 0 to 0 self loop 0 to 1 1 minus q 1 to 0 that's possible 1 to 2 that's possible 2 to 0 that's possible 2 to 3 this is my 3 that's possible 3 to 0 that possible and 3 to 4 and so on fine now is it a double stochastic no because sum of it will be the uh, how many is it's not with a one this is not a one so you can't say that uh, it's not a double stochastic okay fine now check irreducible firstly how you can check whether it's irreducible or not if you start from the zero can you return back to the zero zero to one one to two two to zero zero to one one to zero 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 1, 2 to 3, this. Yes. So it's a e reduce. Fine. Now a periodic. How you can check? So once it's a e reducible, you can find the class. So what is that? 0 to 1, all are communicate. So 1 to 2, 2 to 1. So 0, 1, 2, all are my communicate classes. So once they are communicate class, then how you can find the a periodic? We will check any of the periods, say 0. GCD of since it's a self loop so the gcd is my always one so because i already told you whenever there is a self loop the period is always one so since all are my communicate class so the period of the d0 is my one so it means all are my period one so once it's a period one it means this is my a period so the mark of change is a periodic correct state p00 of n so that means if you start if you take n is equal to two so look at look at that this is a self loop so if i take n is one this is a one loop how many way you can two so that's a one loop second loop so that's a q again q so all are my here the markov chain is a positive recurrent how you can check for the positive recurrent that's again if i start from the zero zero that is n p zero zero of n the state is start from the zero so i can start from the zero so firstly 0 it will be 0 so it will be p 0 0 of 1 p 0 0 of 2 p 0 0 of 3 and so on now you can write these answers what is that 0 0 of 1 can you come back to 0 to 0 one step yes this is a q can you come back from the 0 to 0 in the two step yes you can go from here and then come back to be here so what is a 1 2 0 it's so answer is q times 1 minus q this is my 2 this is my 3 and so on this is my 2 similarly for the three step it will be my this this and this so this is q this is my q so it is my uh, 1 to 2 1 to 2 is my 1 minus so it's a q 1 minus q whole square plus so on so how you can write that i can take q as a common 1 plus 2 times 1 minus q 3 times 1 minus q whole square and so on so what is given to you this is nothing but the binomial distribution 1 minus x raised to power minus of 2 so what is that this is q q raised to power minus 2 1 over because q is my probability which is a finite number so this is less than infinity so that means this is my positive recurrent so this is also the correct answers so a b c d are my all the correct answers of this problem so this is the way you can solve all this problem in a simple manner now i can summarize all the tips for you so remember whenever you are working on that markov chain it has the stationary probability as well as the probabilistic equilibrium the limiting value is denoted by pi but uh, the markov chain which does not achieve this is positive limiting probability implies the stationary probability but converse is not true Converse is only true when you have the irreducible as well as the uh, periodic Markov chain. Then only the limiting distribution is same as that of stationary distribution. 
as i already told you when you have the markov chain unique when you have the irreducible and the a periodic when you communicate the class whenever you can see here so this whenever you write here is a clause it means the period of the zero period of the one same if zero is my transient i is also transient if zero is my recurrent i is also recurrent also you can say whenever you have the markov chain with more than one class then that class may be close or the non close whenever you have the two or more close class then is always with a unique but the second method is if you prove is irreducible and the up periodic is a unique distribution how you can classify them whenever your markov chain is finite like of this 0 1 2 3 is a finite then then if then the classes are my recurrent if it is a non close then always be the transient similarly whenever is you have the uh, what is the infinite is when you have taken 1 2 and so on that's the infinite are there then either the classes are recurrent or transient whenever you have the finite and you prove that it's a transient it's always with a positive recurrent or whenever whenever you have the infinite it can be either positive or null recurrent and whenever it's a non closed then non closed means like of this if i say this is my here then it goes to this and so on this is 4 and up to here up to how much it is not given to you then it is called as the non closed whenever this is a non closed then always be the transient states are there. so this is a simple tips for you you can simply remember it we will see this is a simple diagram you can see what is the ffi and so you can see persistent and here you can remember this one i hope you can simply like share and comment this we will see the next lecture of the june 2011 to 2023 of the markov chain questions till then you can simply share like and comment videos best of luck students happy luck